A birthday, of course, begins with the story of how somebody came to be. And my story is, if I do say so myself, a little out of the ordinary. I'll start with my father. To those millennials who think their life is hard, the first 24 years of his life featured the First World War, the Spanish flu, having nothing to eat during the Great Depression, and the Second World War. He had a dozen careers in his life, but his first was as a sports cartoonist for the Globe and Mail. Much later, he'd go on to edit the country's largest newspaper. But first, he got called to be a preacher, and zoomed to the top, touring the land and filling arenas everywhere he went. He and another preacher named Billy Graham became best friends, and toured the world together, founding Youth for Christ International, and having the dubious distinction of being one of the first TV evangelists. Later, he and Graham would have a falling out, enough that they made a really bad movie about it, God's as the trailer tells. Gospel. But a conflict with his best friend... Really? I'm at a crossroads. Charles, it's the word of God. But what if it's wrong, Billy? Nearly ripped him apart. Can you tell me that there was a loving God after seeing that? After 15 years, he decided he was not so much with the Jesus, a topic he would write his last book about. He landed on his feet, though, as a TV journalist, interviewing the greats like Aldous Huxley. Do you hold any fears that some uh, future dictator, to use the term, might use such things as uh, mass communication, the newly discovered drugs, subliminal suggestion, uh, what's called brainwashing, uh, all of these new motivational research, all these new techniques for I'm gaining sure. consent. I'm quite sure they can do it. After all, it's, to a considerable extent, it's been done. And even one of the leaders of the Russian Revolution. You were a part of the revolution, were you not, which overthrew the Tsarist monarchy? No, uh, the Tsarist monarchy explodes itself. Not to mention a joust with Malcolm X. The outspoken Negro leader, Malcolm X. <laughs> Sir, what was, what's the real reason why you two men split? Is it merely ideological or is it personality? What else? Probably personality. It was not uh, the statement that w uh, originally was gave, given uh, by the movement when, I, when we split. Meanwhile, a young woman who had lost her father in the war and started a career singing in Montreal nightclubs was working hard. Here she is at just 17. Pure and innocent, let me assure you. This led to gigs on radio, working for Coca-Cola, and a starring role in a weekly show with a jazz combo. Divorced, she made her own living, which was not easy when you consider how they might introduce you in the 50s. Now, how about you do in the intro to... Uh, well, we've got something very nice to share with the people tonight, oh, Billy. Yes, matter of fact, uh, we have a very beautiful package because it's our own Sylvia Murphy, and you can't find prettier packages than that these days. <laughs> Sylvia would like to sing for all you nice people, Old Cape Cod. If you're fond of sand dunes and salty sure to fall in love with old Cape Cod. Growing up in Montreal gave her a few other skills. Le ciel de Paris s'envole une chanson She moved on to bigger shows, punching in and working hard. Music makers 59 with Sylvia Murphy. She had the kids from her first marriage, but she didn't have a man to come home to after a hard day's work. How about an introduction for Sylvia Murphy? Under an August moon, 
burning above. You'd be so nice. You'd be paradise to come home to and love under stars chilled by the weather. Under an August moon burning brightly above. Thank you, Sylvia Murphy, and thank you, Ron. In 1959, a director named Paul Ullman, who later directed the British documentary Seven Up, was looking to cast a TV movie about a romance between a newscaster and a singer. He took the radical step of casting a real newscaster and a real singer instead of actors. Yes, you guessed it. The forgettable and lost movie Face to Remember is the reason I exist. My parents met on the set. The script called for them to fall in love on screen. They started dating off the set, but shared their first real kiss during rehearsal. After that, well... It was fascination, I know. Five months after that movie... Fast forward nine months after the wedding, and the glamour couple that mostly hides at home is on the cover of an entertainment magazine with a profile. I have that magazine because the article mentions she's expecting a baby in June. Yes, that's my first press clipping. And thus the story of my beginning gets a happy ending. <laughs>